Greetings and welcome to another short episode on LinkedIn to Kitsifos. My name is George Schmidt and you can find me at the support team of Sophistic, where I'm dealing with customers' inquiries and working as a consultant engineer. I will be performing to you this video on the topic of the spring elements and their behavior in general. The spring elements can be defined as elastic support at one structural point, or along edges as padding along a structural line, or even over structural areas. As you can see on the current figure, providing a value to CP, the stiffness constant in the spring direction can be defined. Similarly with the value of CT, the lateral stiffness constant of the spring can be prescribed in the plane which is perpendicular to the vector of the spring. By default, the CP and the CT values are entered in kilonewton per cubic meter unit. All the input values for the CP and the CT are referred to a so-called reference area, AR, which has different meanings based on the type of the element that the spring has been assigned to. I will explain it in detail, what is the reference area exactly, element-wise, in the second part of this video. In general, the spring elements can be categorized into two major types in Sophistic. One of them is the so-called support springs, and the other one is the so-called connection springs. For the support type of springs, you need to define one structural point. This will be the first node of the spring, and the direction in the local or global x, y, z axes. Along with this definition, the second imaginary node will be automatically created in the direction that you had prescribed. For the connection type of spring elements, it is necessary to enter a first and a second node, since it also defines the direction of the springs pointing from node 1 to node 2, unless you want it in an explicitly given different way. In other words, it is also possible that even if the first and the second node of the spring are defined as per the figure presented on the screen, still the direction of the spring pointing from the second node to the first, although it is the opposite direction of the default setting. After having loaded the spring elements, it is possible to obtain the spring forces arisen in them. If the spring force is a negative value, then it means there is a compression in the spring. Whereas, if the spring force is a positive definite, it means there is a tension in the spring element. If the direction of the displacement vector of the spring element points in the direction of the spring, then the spring force is a positive definite, and it means that there is tension in the spring. The displacement vector can be calculated by subtracting the displacement at the first node, from the displacement of the second node of the spring element. Now let's head back to the reference area AR I mentioned at the beginning of the video. In Sophistic, the stiffness of a spring is defined in the unit of stiffness over area, which is kilonewton per meter per meter square, yielding to kilonewton per cubic meter unit. For a spring of a structural area, the given stiffness constant is scaled with the reference area given in parameter AR as follows. The given CP value will be multiplied with AR. Now let's examine the unit. The meter square is meter by meter. One of the M's is the length and the other M is the width of the area element the spring is assigned to. For a spring along a structural line, the given stiffness constant is scaled with the reference area given in parameter AR as follows. The M square is equal meter by meter, in which one of the M's is the length, and the other M is the width of the structural line, and the width of the structural line is the width of the support. By default, it is set to 1 meter, but of course the user can define it with a different value. For a spring at a structural point, the given stiffness constant is scaled with the reference area given in parameter AR as well. The meter square is equal meter by meter, in which one of the M's is the length and the other M is the width of the imaginary area at the support. If AR is not given, 
it defaults to 1 meter square. This means the stiffness values given at CP and CT are then equivalent to a standard stiffness at a singular point given in unit kilonewton per meter.